morning, good morning, good morning. What is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? And welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me not get ahead of myself because it's actually cold now in Houston. So it's a real cold start. Let's go ahead and roll that cold start real quick. And then we can get back to the video. Let's get it. y'all you dig what i'm saying mama sounding mad rowdy right now you feel me <laughs> i ain't gonna lie it is a little cold today so you know we're at 47 degrees this morning <laughs> so we feeling real good man but let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into today's video because we got a banger ahead we're spending some top secret you know what i mean some some beans right now i'm spilling some beans right now man so let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this video let's get it what is good y'all you dig welcome back to yet again another episode of j.i productions it's your boy j.i make sure you smash that subscribe button enjoy the video you dig y'all you do what i'm saying i know um a lot of y'all have been or asking me you know to make a whole new intro as you guys feel like it's time for an updated intro again so let me know down in the comment section down below how many of you guys agree with that and if you know what i'm saying if majority wins then me and my boy frankie gotta make up and shoot another intro but enough of that let's get to today's video man so as you see by the title and the thumbnail today's video is basically my complete plan out, my complete blueprint for the build of this car. You dig know what I'm saying? Is it gonna be a show car? Is it gonna be a street car? Is it gonna be a drag monkey? Like, what's the plan for this car? A lot of people have been asking me. Um, and basically, honestly, I'm just trying to build the ultimate day. Um, as you guys see, I went bags instead of going coil over just because it it being a headache i mean like you know when i had the g35 coupe and i had that one static on bc coilovers i was going through oil pans you know what i mean <laughs> going through axles like driving that car driving a car static in houston daily is not you know what i mean you can you can i don't care who you ask at the end of the day it's a headache bro you can't just get in the car and go you know what I mean? And that's what I need in a daily. I want to be able to just hop in my car and go. At the end of the day, you know, like, you can keep it stuck. Yeah, that's cool. But, like, that's not me. I'm not a keep it stuck kind of guy. So, that's why I went bags. Um, With this car, man, like I said, I'm just trying to build the ultimate daily. Now, with that being said, what I'm going for is performance and looks. The best of both performance and cosmetic mods so my plan as far as cosmetic mods that you know what's left to do to this car is definitely add some wheels to it some side skirts and a front splitter and i feel like this car will be all right um you know cosmetically definitely have some uh smaller things that i want to do as far as like getting the roof wrapped um and maybe 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 switch to a carbon fiber trunk definitely want to do the uh the front fenders the hood on it um on another note the hood i'd probably just leave the stock hood i love that it comes with the vent a lot of people that don't really know that much about camaros have been asking me like if that's a feature that i added a mod that i added and it's not like the ss camaro fifth gen ss camaro comes with the vent in it um you know what i mean for those who don't know um now for performance as you guys know i already have the texas speed 178 long tube headers 
um, the exhaust is completely catless and it's three inches all the way back and then I have the Rotofab cold air intake if you guys haven't seen those videos um, I'll go ahead and put a card up um, on the screen y'all make sure y'all go check them out you dig what I'm saying and what's really left for the car honestly because I want this car to run um, low 11s high 10s um, to pair the headers and the intake I want to go E85 I want to port the heads but I want to swap the heads to the LS3 heads because as you guys know I drive an automatic so I have the L99 not the LS3 and the LS3 puts out about 426 and the L99 puts out about 400 to the wheel so I mean well crank so I want to go ahead and swap to the LS3 heads but I want to get them ported and then I want to port my throttle body however my boy J-Rod told me that I'm not really going to see a difference in horsepower gain so y'all let me know down in the comment section down below have you guys ported your intakes I want to I mean your intakes have you guys ported your throttle bodies I want to know like if you have are you seeing a gain is it really worth it y'all let me know down in the comment section down below because I found a couple ported throttle bodies on you know a couple websites and they're like 200 to 300 dollars and i want to know if it's even worth me spending that much money if i'm not gonna see a gain at all now obviously obviously everybody in the comment section has been saying oh mamba needs a cam mamba needs a cam for that fat top of course i want to go cam i want to cam this car i want to go with a stage two cam nothing too crazy like i said i want to build the ultimate daily now can't be a daily if I slap a stage four or stage three cam in there and then this joint breaks every thousand miles you know what I'm saying I don't want to have any issues I want to be able to run my car on the street as a daily and then take it to the drag strip run the fuck out of it beat the hell out of it and be able to drive it back home you feel me that's the entire goal with this car it's nothing too crazy I don't want to get on meth or nothing like or nitrous or nothing like that I've been thought about running a hundred shot 150 shot on this car but it's like i don't know my reasoning for this could definitely be you know bogus or weak you feel me but my car has 89,000 miles right now i really 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 want to keep it na for right now um and just go full bolt on na and then down the line once i can get a meter get out of a pro charger i love the sound that you get out of a pro charger and with it being automatic you know what i mean it's i've heard that it's better to go supercharger or pro charger versus going turbos on an automatic just because the um power the power band is linear you know what i mean now with the turbo you could definitely do better with a turbo and a manual but since it's an auto you definitely i'm thinking about going pro charger route so it'd definitely be cammed and it'd be pro-charged just like my boy um j-rod's build it definitely would be nasty man i really 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 want to see mamba chop and then have that um blow fat ass blower sitting right next to the motor man that'd definitely be dope but other than that man really nothing too crazy i've debated on swapping out my interior i really you guys know i love the bloody guts i really want the bloody guts in the interior however these seats are comfortable um it's 45 degrees outside right now i got my heated seats on anyway uh, i got the heated seat on right now and i'm kosher bro and then on top of that the you know the seats are in great condition for what they are bro I'm going to keep it a buck. You know what I mean? There's no... There's no ah. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Scraby boys, I got to go ahead and go up for the next one. You feel me? The seats don't have any tears or, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. I did not know that that was a speed bump all of a sudden. Oh, they down bad. I'm so happy I went up. Anyway, I don't know. I've really been debating on swapping out my seats. If anybody 
actually has a fifth gen Camaro red interior. Um, you know what I mean? Full interior, the seats and the door cards, and even the dash panel things. If you have that laying around and you're willing to make a swap for the black interior, hit me up. I definitely um, am down to doing that. Really, I'm looking for somebody local. So if you're in the Houston area, that'll be a win win for both of us because I can literally just drive up to you and we can go ahead and swap everything out now if you are you know what i mean if you're not that far from houston like you say you're in dallas or galveston or something like that okay cool we can definitely link but if you were you feel me california bruh you know i'm saying i'm not driving all the way out there <laughs> and i ain't shipping either because i know it's gonna be an arm and a leg to ship the entire interior pieces to a car so yeah man with that being said um finally i do want to not necessarily build the transmission but i want to help the transmission to prevent it from blowing as you guys know if you've been around um the channel for a while when i bought this camaro from carmax the transmission blew up on it um fourth fifth and sixth gear were literally toast so they had my car for like a month or two trying to tell me that it was a torque converter and i knew that it wasn't i knew it was the transmission and i told them multiple times so we were going back and forth on that they finally realized that it was the transmission and they went ahead and swapped out the transmission um now with that being said i do have a brand new transmission in this car but with all the power that i plan on you know throwing through it while being full bolt on na I don't want to have any issues. Like I said, I'm trying to build the ultimate daily driver, which is the best of both worlds as far as performance and cosmetics go. So I don't want, a, you know what I mean, to put too much stress on the mo um, on the trans and have the trans give out. You feel me? Because like I say, I want to get in the car and go. That's it. And you can't get in the car and go with a blown transmission. You feel me? I mean, you, you could, but you're not going to get too far. <laughs> but with that being said, man, that's really going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys are excited to see how Mamba plays out. You know, just bear with me because I might have found some wheels that, you know, I feel are sufficient for the car as of right now. Just to hold us on daily wheels while, you know, the three-piece wheels. We hold off on those and get those in very soon. So with all that being said, man, it's really going to be it for this video. Y'all go ahead and drop your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys are running on your builds. You know, it could be a Camaro. It could be a Mustang. It could be a Charger, a Challenger, whatever it is, whatever you drive. Let me know what your build is like in the comments down below. Don't forget to tag your at. Make sure you guys continue to tap in with the kid. Daily vlogs are definitely still in full force feel me um i know i took a little break this past weekend but it was thanksgiving and there wasn't really much to film so i didn't film anything um but you know i'm back it's monday the first monday back you know we lit you know we here tapping in so y'all make sure y'all got those post notifications on man smash that subscribe button i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>